Today I'm going to show you how to use the long multiplication method to multiply two two-digit numbers. So example one we've got 37 multiplied by 45. So the first thing you need to do is write the two numbers underneath each other and put a multiplication sign in the corner. Right, what you need is three answer lines. So if we just draw these ready underneath. Uh, on the first line, what we need to work out is 37 times 5. So first of all then, do 7 times 5, that's 35. So if we put the 5 there, write the 3 underneath. And then we've got to do 3 times 5, 3 times 5 is 15. Add on the 3 underneath, which gives us 18. Right, the next line we have to work out 37 times 4, but the 4 is in the tens column, so it's actually 40 when being multiplied by. So on your second line, what you need to do is just put a 0 at the start of that line because we're multiplying by the 40, not just 4. So <clears throat> if we cover up that 5, it makes things a little bit easier to see. So now we've got to do 37 times 4. So we do 7 times 4, which is 28. So put the 8 there, the 2 underneath. 3 times 4 is 12, plus the 2 is 14. So what we've done then is done 37 times 5, and then we've also done 37 times 14 on the next line. So once we've got these two answers, we just need to add these two lines up. So 5 add 0 is 5, 8 add 8 is 16, 4 add 1 add 1 is 6, and the final column we've just got a 1. So our final answer is 1665. So let's take a look at another example. So example 2, this time we've got uh, 63 times 42. So again, first of all, write the two numbers in columns and put a multiplication sign on the left. So again, draw your three answer lines in. So on the first line, we're working out 63 times 2. So 3 times 2 is 6, and 6 times 2 is 12. Right, on the next line we've got to do 63 times 4, but remember that's 63 times 40. So what we need to do is just put a 0 at the start of that second line. So next do 3 times 4, which is 12. And then you've got to do 6 times 4, which is 24, plus the 1, which is 25. So we've done 63 times 2, and then we've done 63 times 40 on our second line. So all we need to do is add these two lines up now. So 6 add 0 is 6, 2 add 2 is 4, 5 add 1 is 6, 2 add nothing is 2. So we get a final answer of 2,600 and 46.